All right, folks, we're going to be doing things a little backwards on this uh, episode of Memory Lane. We're going to actually be uh, recording the uh, the gameplay first, and then I'm going to show off the cartridge second. And the reason why is because I had to enter a whole bunch of Game Genie codes and stuff like that just to get this uh, game to work. This is a Japanese copy. And you can see a little gameplay demonstration here. This is Golden Axe 3 for the Sega Genesis. And it's a pain in the ass to get this working. So you have to enter like two lines of Game Genie codes. Which I can actually show you guys right here. Alright, bypass codes right here. Alright, let's get this game started. And uh, this game has four characters to play. And the one right here is a, it's the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> it's uh, the actual, it looks just like the Ultimate Warrior. It has the hair, it has the face paint, it has the look. It looks like him. We're, we're gonna play as the Ultimate Warrior. Now, I, I also entered in the Infinite Health, and Infinite Magic. All right, let's go kick some ass. Now this game was uh, not released in physical form in the U.S. So in order to get a physical copy, you have to buy the Japanese copy. Uh, you were, at first I understand, you were able to play it in the U.S. But you had to actually have one of those uh, modems, some sort of online capability for the Sega Genesis. That was the only way of actually playing this in uh, North America. And I don't think I know I don't I never knew a person that actually had that. You have to hook it up to like your phone line or something. Alright, let's get up this guy. We're gonna use some magic, yeah. Now this is the part right here where um if you I tried to record in 60 frames per second and it just didn't work out. Um because I keep getting rolling on my screen. So I record in 30 frames, it, it comes out better, less rolling, and um, there's certain things in this game that you won't actually see properly on 30 frames per second. For example, this right here. You can actually see the character right here on the TV, but on the, uh, the actual camera you can't see it. It is what it is. <clears throat> But you can still see the normal portion of the gameplay right, right here. Uh, the Sega Genesis used a lot of tricks. With the interpolation frames where... You know, it would divide frames in half, like one frame. Every, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, so there'd be like one frame switching out for another frame, and then you can always see on 60 frames per second. If you're trying to see it on a 30 frame per second TV or a video camera uh, you pretty much get what you see here for example this whole platform right here is shaking up and down on the camera you might not see that, it might look smooth alright, we're doing pretty good so far We got these crazy looking creatures. We have to beat these guys up. Yeah. And they can't really do anything to me because I'm actually, um, in a visibility mood. And the ultimate warrior does like apples. Oh yeah. What what is this? Potion? Oh. Oh my god, what is that thing? We're just gonna use magic. And it's funny seeing it on the camera. You can't you, you can't see my character or any of the characters. Some crazy stuff. It's 
It's going to use more magic right here. Oh, you can kind of see it that time. Look at that. You can kind of see my character that time. That's cool. Alright, we can choose which direction we want to go. We're just going to go upwards, I guess. That's the cool thing about this game is you can actually um, go on multiple areas. Get over here. The ultimate warrior is going to kill that little thing. Alright, let's continue on here. This is what another little area looks like. Break that rock. Get over here. You have to jump that little area. Oh, what the hell? It's a little skeleton piece of crap here. Oh, he almost sucked me into the hole again. This stupid skeleton. Oh, 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 what the hell? Those, uh, those enemies are annoying because they block your hits. We're going to use some of our power right here. You can see the boulders coming down. There we go. So far we're doing pretty good. treasure chests here. And this game's fun. It's, it's a shame it never came out in the US on a physical copy. It's like that one game that we were forced to import from Japan and yet have Game Genie in order to play it. We'll see the boulders in the camera. Not quite. And that was quick. Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. I guess it's going to ask us what direction we want to go next. Maybe not. There's a little map right there that tells you where you're going. Stage 3. Alright, let's see. We're going 
like a jungle looking area now. And this game goes for quite a bit now. It's like a, you can, if you get a complete copy, it's over a hundred dollars. I bought the uh, the cartridge by itself, and I, I still had to pay like sixty dollars just for the cartridge. You might be able to somehow get a reproduction cartridge that um, automatically bypasses the region lock. That would probably be a better option, to be honest. Yeah, if you can find a reproduction cart that automatically takes the, um, the region lock off, uh, it's a lot more easier, a lot more less of a pain and trying to get a game machine working and all that stuff, uh, that would probably be a better option. And the cheaper option also. I'm gonna use my magic. Oh, yeah, you can actually see the boulders pretty good now. <laughs> you can see the camera kind of falls out of sync a little bit. We're gonna use more boulders. Yeah, we're gonna use boulders. Oh my god. Right, here we go. We're going forward. That's it. We're bringing the boulders in. Now we're riding the uh, Sega version of Yoshi. Let's go forward here. We're going this direction. Well, I wonder what's down here. Of everybody. Some crazy stuff going on here. That's it. I, I had enough of these. Yeah, it's like that. You, can, you can't see the boulders this time. Alright, let's go over here. And what do we have here? Now, look at that big dude. Let's see if I can beat him without the magic. Oh, oh no. This dude's huge. I did it. Just gotta keep drop kicking him. Get going here.
Uh, this game's really, really fun. All the Golden, a Golden X games are really good. Let's see, let's see some magic. We got the boulders. You can see them very clear on the screen right there. Just gonna use more boulders. It's a great thing about Game Genie, you can just cheat. The Ultimate Warrior is a big shooter. Look at this. Going this way. All right. So like Hulk Smash. Look at that. She's definitely doing the uh, the, the boulders again. Right, let's go forward here. And uh, this game has a lot of replay value because you can get going in different directions. So you can play the game once in one direction and then play the game two or three other times and go in different directions. I'm gonna drop kick these things. Yeah. It's probably easier to control using um, the other characters because this big character here is so bulky, he's slower than a normal character. And now we got this one. Try blocking this. She's still alive. Oh my god. No, let's do it again. Weird. Oh wait, well, what? It says thank you. Be careful.
One thing I find to be very weird is in the background there's like a building with an upside down cross. What the hell is that all about? I don't know if that's a boat. It looks like a building. That is, uh, that's strange. It's gotta be for something else though. It can't, it can't be an upside down cross. Oh my god, let me go take a phone call. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna probably end that right here. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the cartridge. The reason why is because got a lot of things going on. And we got the Game Genie cart right there. I had to give this a good cleaning before I used it because it was pretty dirty. And then we have the Golden Axe cart right there. This is a Japanese copy. That's the type of day I'm having right now. It no longer works. Let's play that one last time. Oh, I just can. All right, there we go. I'll hold on to it with two hands now. This is the end label. And it's not a complete copy. The complete copy costs probably over $100. The, uh, the, that copy right there, I think I paid like $60 for that or something like that. Yeah, just for one cartridge. So that's quite a bit, but that's how much I paid for it. Well, I'm gonna end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I, I cut it a little early. It's got things going on here. And I hope you guys uh, stay tuned and don't forget to check out some more videos here. And uh, what, what do you guys like better? Do you like Golden Axe or do you like, um, I don't know, is there anything comparable to Golden Axe? I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think Super Nintendo has anything comparable to Golden Axe. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think.